Hi, yeah, it's uh, Handsome Dull Steve here. Um, I'm going to give you a quick uh, talk through what we've done to Jamie's Quattro here today. Um, we're nearly out of we're nearly out of the COVID lockdown, so I'm obviously a bit bored. Uh, Jamie's asked me to do a little video so that he knows um, what's what in the car for the future. Um, so long and the short of it is is um, originally uh, K Jetronic. This would have had. It was converted many years ago in Jamie's ownership um, to the Lumination system. Um, this was um, like a batch fire, um, all five cylinders fired at exactly the same time, um, distributor fired ignition, um, but it did get rid of the k -Jetronic. Um It did have actual proper fuel injectors in there, um, albeit low impedance, old school stuff. But um, Jamie had been having some problems, uh, mainly starts, um, just wasn't running at its best. He first came to see us, I don't know, a year ago, I guess. Um, we ran it up on the dyno, see if we could find anything going on, and uh, there was just all sorts going on. Um, so uh, the decision was made, poor Jamie had to, we had to rip it all out, start again is the long and the short of it. So we've taken the opportunity at this point to, uh, you know, upgrade the whole car really, or certainly the, the engine management system. Um, We've done quite a bit to it because because COVID came along at this time. We've not been running the dyno. We've been on lockdown like the rest of the country. So um, we conversed a few times over this period and Jamie sort of expressed an interest in going fly by wire. I'm obviously sad, as we all know. So I'm like, yeah, I'm interested in that, mate. You 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 get the parts, you supply the parts or I'll get the parts, but you, you supply the funding for parts um, and I will do it for free whilst I'm on lockdown it's a few hours well spent eh um again that's sad isn't it um, <laughs> anyway so I'll, I'll flip the camera around now and i'll do my um my pointing at things if you're a car guy and you you know what i'm on about then then fine undoubtedly you'll still get bored if you're not a car guy i'll probably switch off now because it's it's about to get pretty boring <laughs> right let's flip this around and i'll show you okay um as you can see, there's quite a lot changed. Um, I'll start at the beginning, which is let's. We, we wanted to go sequential fuel injection, so we've got some Bosch 550, um, like the saturated injectors in there, which are running sequentially. We used a we we machine you may be able to see down there. Um, I had machined a pulley 36 minus two tooth teeth, um, and I've mounted a Ford crank sensor just in on there, but normal JPT connect there, straight back to the max ECU race. Um, the distributor I modified, um, it's got five windows obviously because it would have um, fired five times for the for the old ignition system. I have modified the distributor so that we've got just one window in there to provide me with a home signal. Um, used the original pickup in there back, um, like as a hall sensor, straight back up to the max ECU. So we've, we've now got our engine positioning sensors sorted. We've got our injectors in there obviously. Um, I, I, I've got a zip tie back up this wiring yet. Um, um, what else to say? So obviously um, adapter plate here, um, got rid of the old throttle body. Um, and this is off of a 1.8T Audi A4, um, set up the PID again in the Max ECU. Um, it's not really a problem at all. Yeah, um, air temperature sensor, we've got a coolant temperature sensor on the back of the engine. We've also got, um, oil pressure and oil temperature sensors, both feeding back to the EC, which will put various um, um, various limits on the system. Um, this is our um, pedal sensor. The, the, throttle, the throttle cable comes in around here. This is off a Peugeot Boxer van. Um, just made up some brackets, mounted this in here, just to try and keep it looking as factory as I can. Um, this is wired obviously straight back to the ECU and gives us various um it, gives, it allows us to see um two throttle position sensors to, to run the flow wire properly um obviously built the loom up um what else can we say oh we the um um obviously ignition coils um there's a cover that goes over here um that again it's not on there yet it's, it's a little bit tired but i'm going to try and get some tape in there and sort that out so we have these brackets made up these are i think it's ls2 or ls3 coils i don't recall um, again, just made up some leads to go down through uh, Bosch Super 4 spark plugs. Um, while we're in the game, um, another bracket, um, just made up a little bracket, little Pierberg boost control solenoid. Um, and that allows us to have high and low boost maps all through a tablet. Um, 
So we've managed to, well, we've got the rev counter working on the Digi Dash, no problem. Um, I'm trying to think of what else there is to say, really. Um, again, it's, it's a lovely motor and it, it just needs to be reliable for him. So he's got another good usable classic for another good few years. I think it's been in the family, in his family, a good long while, this. And uh, I know he's been missing it. I, I gave it a bit of a polish the other week, but yeah so that's about a lot i've um once i've tuned it up i'll do a little a dyno run um before i drop it back and i'll video that um yeah bless her up she's ready to go back and uh meet the big old world again